part of the curriculum was that we were to design a lesson plan that the groups were to teach. And for our lesson plan, we decided to do sand art done by the Native Americans. And these are some of the class students' interpretations of how they would do sand art. Uh, the theme was that we would have them draw an animal, and so they picked their favorite animal, and so that's why you'll see that in the center. And then uh, borders in Native American art was very important, so we made sure they used borders in their art as well. You'll notice that the paper is wrinkled to give it texture. Well, it might be nice, Blake, to move to the clay pieces, since mm -hmm. um, that was a little bit a similar theme with yeah. uh, Native American culture and um, animals. Yeah, Total a animals. Of, a couple of groups focused on the clay pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, there were the pots, so you'll see a lot of pots, and then also the animals. And these are in the first, this is self-hardening clay, and it's kind of the first stage. Um, so they're drying so next week. Final exam time, people can paint them if they choose to. If you look very closely at some of the pots, they have symbolism on the sides. From mine, I did a butterfly, I don't even see it now. Isn't that yours right here? Oh, yes. We're just sort of in a tent. <laughs> Before the pots were placed, it sort of looked like these animals on this path. Of animals. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. So these were, this was two different lesson plans. I actually didn't get to see all of these until just now, so I'm noticing how detailed some of these animals are. I'm very surprised. This was someone's personal art history. This was one of the first assignments that he had. You could do a written personal art history or a visual essay. So that's what this one is. I have another one on the board back here. And then these pieces were done uh, a lesson on um, talismans, specifically Iraqi talismans. We took a trip to the Anthropology Museum here on campus, and these lessons by, lesson plans were inspired from a trip to the Anthropology Museum. So that's why you will see mostly a Native American theme or other cultural theme in many of these artworks. The show we went to see was tourist art, so they sort of traveled to different countries in the museum. So um, these were some um, collaborative, this was another collaborative piece, the group. Uh, yes, it was, right. yes. And, and I think my group, oh, my group was the hands, the hands red, were. yellow, blue, and brown. And that was, basically to signify how well our group worked together. And you'll see the orange and purple smiley face in the center to uh, clarify that even more. This lesson was kind of interesting because there's a smaller one up here because some of the groups actually cut theirs apart because they wanted to have their own their own separate piece. space. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's why there's only one of those Star of David. So, let's see, we should probably move to these pieces. Uh, these, this was a lesson on uh, Greek pottery and Greek mythology. And the students, instead of using clay, we uh, came up with this idea to use Chinese carry-out containers, and then they decorated them with different different symbols related to... They're supposed to, to represent uh, some of the gods, right? Uh, we talked a lot about gods in this particular lesson. I decided to do a spin-off of that, so you'll notice the second one, which is blue, okay. is uh, supposed to represent the box of a popular show called Doctor Who. Uh, he was a time lord in this show, and in the lesson plan we talked about the lord of time. So that's where I went with mine. But there's lots of other cool ideas as well that we don't see here. 
Yeah, everyone took theirs home. <laughs> yeah, they must have liked it just that much. Okay, so let's see if we can do these. This was one of the first things we did. The first thing. Yeah, the yeah. very yes. first thing. You're right. Oh, great. So these were um, name tags, a way to, or table tents, a way to introduce yourself to the group. We used these early on, and then after a yeah, while. Yeah, then after a while, we knew each other's names. Right, so we didn't need, but need to use them. But everyone really enjoyed, I remember that day, playing with the materials. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I think, I think one of the most important parts that made that so successful is that Dr. K really clarified that you could go anywhere with this. You can't just, or well, you you basically don't have to stick with a cookie cutter design. And you didn't. And I didn't. You no. didn't. You have a very different design. You used the paper in a different way. Also, Becca. Yeah, Becca was the person Becca. sitting next to me, and she decided to do something totally different as well. Mm -hmm. This was a lesson uh, we discussed Keith Herring and his work, and then each group again had uh, a black piece of paper, and they picked a social issue that yep. they wanted yep. to communicate an idea about um, in the manner that Keith Herring might have done that. I don't remember what this one was, but I do remember they talked about this one being step parents and how kids uh, sometimes have an issue of which family to really put their trust, mm -hmm. their full and complete trust in. And I've had probably five people do their artist work for Keith Aaron. Ah. Keith was inspirational for a lot of students. Okay. No, I think we got everything now. Yeah. One of the we have are some idea journals, but I haven't looked at those yet. Oh, forgot Taylor's, our personal art history. Another example of a personal art history. Some of the examples that we've uh, photographed. Um, this is when we talked about Molly Bang and is the story of Little is? Red Riding Hood. Oh, Red. yes, that's right. right. Right, so that you had to communicate a story just using color, shape, and form. Mm -hmm. oh. Name tent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw the uh, sand art in there too. Yeah. culture, or things we did in class, some of the lesson plans, inspirations from the reading. artist. Suggestions. Suggestions. Thank you.